The beer that made Milwaukee famous is back. The granddaddy of all American adjunct lagers, more on that in a minute, Schlitz is American beer history. Schlitz was the first to put beer in brown bottles. They survived prohibition by switching their slogan from the beer that made Milwaukee famous to the drink that made Milwaukee famous. And during World War II rationing, it was Schlitz in army green steel cans for the troops. And it was Schlitz that taught us all to go for the gusto. Now contract brewed by Paps, Schlitz is back. And if it's true that familiarity breeds contempt, then absence makes the heart grow fonder. This beer tastes like beer. I don't know that's meaningless to say, but 25 years ago, if you asked almost any American what beer tastes like, they would have answered, you know, like beer. No hoppy aftertaste, no maltiness, no porters, no stouts, just beer, American adjunct lager. The adjunct refers to additional beer ingredients not found in European beers. Again, think 25 years ago. If you want to mass produce quality beer in America, in high quantity, at low cost, you have to stretch the beer with something abundant, cheap, corn or rice. But in this case, American corn. Some might say that stretching beer this way is the very sin that craft brewing rebels against. And that's true. And would a stretched, high quantity, low cost beer be my desert island beer of choice? Heck no. So call me sentimental and nostalgic, but I'm glad to have original Schlitz back. 